What's going on traders? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Antonio, Ants Analysis on Instagram. And today I'm gonna to be bringing you on a journey from start to finish on a trade that I am taking. All the way from my analysis, then my entry, my trade management, and my exit. Full transparency, bringing you on the journey so you can see what it's like for me when I'm placing a trade. So let's get straight into it. Right guys, so just wanna give my analysis to start off with on USDJPY, where I think price is going, what I think is happening, and yeah, let's just get straight into it and you'll understand. So with USDJPY, since market open, we've practically been in bullish market structure, apart from the start because we had to fill this gap. The market gapped, pushed up to here, grabbed some orders from this level, as soon as we opened, and then we formed bearish market structure, we filled this gap, and then from here, buyers have just been in control. Buyers have been in control, we've used previous resistance as support, and ever since we have just been in bullish market structure, until we reach this level. This level up here, which also lines up with an area of resistance in the market, which has been previously used, where sellers have reacted off, we've come back up to that level and price has failed to form a higher high and instead we form this kind of this kind of double top formation in the market however what's very interesting is if you look here price has formed this mini sort of support in the market and again formed it there price is approaching this level again now so this could potentially be this triple bottom however if we take a look um what's in between here Previous level of resistance here, resistance, resistance, resistance. Um, in between there with previous support, support and potential support, there's a gap, right? So the people that have bought here would have their stops below. The people that would have bought here would have their stops below there. And the people that are gonna have entries here, gonna have buy limits set at this level, are going to also have their stops here. So this gap, to me, is inevitably going to be filled. It's going to be filled and there's liquidity and there's orders that are just going to get filled here for price. So that's the first thing that I know is going to happen is price is going to come in between this gap at least, maybe even further. Um, so that's what I'm anticipating for price to do. So this is a perfect example of why the market likes to leave false advertisements and it likes to create liquidity and it, it doesn't like to make things easy, right? The market will never make things easy for you. So as predicted, we did have the push into this level. We had that push and then we had the push into this level and then prices began to use previous level of resistance as support. You can see the slow down in momentum We've got doji candles, we've got just every kind of thing that the textbook would, textbook would tell you of where to be buying the market, right? In the textbook, it says, previous level of resistance to be used as support. How many people are going to be buying off of that bullish engulfing candle with stops just below? Targeting there. This is what everyone will tell you to do. They will tell you to get in on a bullish engulfing candle. That's basically like, what's that? Morning star, they like to call it. They're getting stops below, and that is just inviting liquidity to be taken out and stop hunts to come into play. Again, like another bullish candle, it's just all over. It's just, it's just enticing retail traders. It's just enticing retail traders to get in. But what they are ignoring, what is it that they are ignoring? Let's jump down a time frame and let's see if we can just come up with what they are ignoring. They're completely ignoring a level of support in the market. So it's all good saying here that, okay, this is previous level of resistance. Okay, now it's being used as support, but they're completely ignoring this level in the market where price literally shot up massively. This is where buyers got in the market. This is where the orders are, not here. People aren't buying the market here. This is where the, the market is buying. This is where this move was generated from, this level. So this is the strong level in the market that we're looking out for again. And liquidity has just been grabbed. And now the entry has been taken. So where did we get in the market? Let me show you our position here. 
Let me show you our position on this pair. So you can see that we entered the market at 139.750 and let's line it up on the chart so you guys can see a 120 pip stop. So this is the position that we have taken now on this, on this pair. We've seen price dip into this level. We didn't enter right at the bottom because obviously the momentum is there. The momentum is bearish. We waited for it to be obvious that price was switching. We got in on as price was coming up. And this is our position now on USD JPY and it's moving quite nicely already. So I will update you guys obviously with the monitoring of this trade, but just by looking, I would be expecting price to come back up to these highs at least making for a nice one to one to 7.8, one to eight risk to reward there. So we will see what happens with price, but we will be monitoring and trailing our stops on the way up. If price you know, continues like this, we will be trailing our stops with the waves of this movement. So guys, that's our position on USD JPY. The date is Monday the 14th. Let's see how it goes. We'll keep you guys updated. What's going on guys? So another trade I'm looking to take tonight. It is just one minute past 11 tonight. It's on GBP USD. Um, I posted on this on Instagram. I'll put a little screenshot up here. I also sent this into the group, but this is looking like very nice price action. Um, if you know me, if you know how we trade, we understand that price likes to move in two phases. It likes to move in an impulsive phase followed by a correction of some sort and then it will continue with like a continuation type. Um, so that's how the market likes to move, impulsive, corrective and then continuation. And that's exactly what we're having here. We had this nice impulsive move to the upside on GBP USD, and then ever since we have just been correcting to the downside. However, we are now giving signs that we're going to see the market switch and see that continuation. And where we are targeting is 1.19 psychological level. To me, price does look like we have formed a inverse head and shoulders. That's what I've got drawn out here. You can see we've got the left shoulder, the head, which is lined up with this level of support in the market over here. So right now, this is looking like a good area in the market to be buying. So as you can see, we have entered the position. Obviously the balance is a lot higher because I'm in other trades that are running nice and profit at the moment. But that is the GBP USD position we've entered at 1.17480. So that's the position there. This is lined up 10 pip stop loss just below this low. I believe we are going to see this turn bullish for the day. I will keep you guys updated with where I'm managing the trade. So obviously the target is going to be up here, which is a massive risk reward of one to 15. However, I would be unrealistic and tell, not telling you the truth. If I didn't say, I would probably look to close early. Reason being is we have a lot of level of resistances along the way, such as here, um, here, here, and here. So we're going to be monitoring this trade closely. If price was to come in some nice bits of profit up to here, Obviously, of course, stops are going to be trailed into profit or partials are going to be taken on this trade. So, yeah, like I said, tomorrow, as it is uh, five past 11, we will update you guys on this trade tomorrow. With regards to USDJPY, it literally hit take profit overnight. So there's not much I can update you guys with. Um, because I've woken up this morning and price has hit my TP. So before I went to sleep though, however, we did have this nice push up in the market. So stops were trailed to break even because I didn't want to, I didn't want to wake up to a loss. So before I went to sleep, stops were trailed to break even just in case we did see that pullback. Um, but I didn't have time or I wasn't awake to actually manage this trade and trail stops into profit because I was asleep. But if this was during like trading hours when I was trading, then I would have just trailed my stop loss with like the lows. Every time price kind of made a new higher high and higher low, would trail stops accordingly. So if this didn't hit take profit, would have potentially like had my last stop loss here and then would have got stopped out here on this movement down, basically just protecting capital. That's all the trading stop loss is for, managing your positions and ensuring you don't let like a big winning trade turn into like a, 
a losing trade or, or a break-even trade. You want to be trading your stops into profit. So yeah, that's all I have really for USDJPY. A nice trade. And right now we are just looking bearish. Um, the dollar looks to be weak. So yeah, we'll uh, keep you guys updated. But yeah, that's the um, trade on USDJPY, guys. Right, guys. So GBP USD is moving nicely. We are moving in some good profits this morning. As predicted, so we've broken out of these highs, we've made new higher highs and the market and price is clearly bullish and potentially on its way to 1.19 psychological level. What's interesting is we are potentially in a position to enter a scale win position. And that's the beauty of trading, right? When you're right in the market, you want to be right big. It's the complete opposite of when you're losing, you know. When you're losing, you want to be cutting short, you want to be staying out of the market. But when you're winning, and price is really going in your favor, you wanna be maximizing on that as much as possible. And right now, if I jump down to the five minutes, I can see potentially price moving bullish. Like, you know, we've reacted now off of this support twice. We've got one and we've got two here. So right now, this is a good place for a potential scale in. So let me jump back up to the 15. And I'm gonna mark out a position for you guys. This is how I'm going to be scaling to this, scaling in to this market. I'm gonna enter potentially here. I'm gonna do this live for you guys as well. The 200, the 20 pip stop, just below the lows, and then we can look to target 1.19 as well, making for a, a 1 to 3.75 risk reward. I'll enter that now for you guys. I'm gonna enter it live because it is looking bullish. Enter that, and we're also going to send it into my group. So, what price did we get in at? We got in at 1.18275. So I'm also gonna send it into our group. As you can see there, click send. That has been sent into the group. And I'll update the targets in a second. And there we have it guys, updated the targets for the group. And here we go, here are our targets for GBP USD. So I'll update you guys on the movement for the rest of the day and let's see what we can do. Obviously, you know that we like to maximize on our positions when we're in the right. When price is going our way, we want to maximize that as much as possible. So with the fact that we are running um, GBP USD right now with a one to eight, one to seven, um, we can afford to take another another trade, another risk. If we lose that trade, it's fine because we're still going to be in plus five, plus four. Um, it looks like we're well on our way to 1.19. Gonna let the volatility kick in, then gonna continue to trail our stops into profit, but on our way to the gym now, so we'll monitor it whilst we're... Um, whilst we're training. Well, there we have it guys. Two trades taken on GBP USD. One taken on the right shoulder last night and one taken today on the break and retest of that resistance to be used as support, which was also sent into the group. I'm gonna tag in this video the two closed profits on GBUSD, which is brilliant, and also the trade that was sent into the group. So you can see that as well. Now, remember guys, trades like this don't happen every day. So don't look at this video and think that you need to be catching these big risk rewards every day because it's just not realistic. Me, myself, I do not catch trades like this every day. In fact, I actually lose more trades than I win in this industry. I have a around a 40% win rate and my average risk to reward is around a one to four. And it's that risk to reward that allows me to be profitable in the long term. So, you know, one trade does not define you as a trader, whether that's a winning trade or a losing trade, that does not define you. Um, it's how you are consistently over the course of months and years, rather than days and weeks that actually make you who you are as a trader. So 
let's wrap up the video. If you like the video, make sure you like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment of how you think, you know, how I think this video went and hopefully I can keep dropping some more gems to you. If you want to join any of our groups, email me, message me on Instagram here, wherever. Um, I'll leave the links in the bio as well for you guys to click and check out. But um, that's about it, guys. Um, I hope you have a good rest of the day. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.